Hello and welcome to San Diego where we've decided to try home swapping for the very first time. We've been coming to San Diego for over a decade to visit my family, but now our little family has grown. We've had enough of sleeping on couches and staying in spare rooms and we needed our own space. We booked two swaps for our trips to San Diego, including a week at this gorgeous house in the beach town of Encinitas, complete with its own hot tub and zip line, which our four-year-old loved. And we spent eight days just around the corner from the Pacific Ocean in the poshest place in the city, La Jolla. A quick web search found that if we rented holiday homes as good as these for two weeks in July and August, it would have cost more than £7,000, which is $11,000. We paid for our annual home swap membership fee, and that was it. So essentially all we paid for in this amazing house with its own pizza oven, barbecue and bar area, is this beer. This is how we did it and how you could do it too. First off, sign up to a home exchange service. We tried a few but ended up going with Love Home Swap for its free trial and different levels of membership. It also had something called a point swap, which means that you don't have to swap directly with someone at the same time. Hardly anyone from San Diego wanted to come to England, but swapping for points meant that someone from Europe could come to ours, we could go to California, and then the Americans can go to wherever they want to go. Be prepared to be patient though, a swap doesn't happen overnight. Sometimes you have to wait for a new house to come online and quickly nab it before anyone else does. But once you do get a bite, things can happen really quickly. I started by searching for houses that looked like the Playboy Mansion and had pools that were more like spa resorts. But these homes usually go very quickly and don't generally like the idea of having small children staying in them. I decided to focus on homes that had kids the same age as ours. That really helped and a few weeks later, we'd secured point swaps with two beautiful homes and we were finally able to hit the book button. But would all the hard work be worth it? After spending thousands on flights, would the houses even exist once we got there? Well, there's only one way to find out. With Love Home Swap, we were able to travel in style thanks to their free airport lounge passes. There really is nothing like eating a free big breakfast, drinking a coffee and watching planes take off, while you know the rest of the airport is sitting on those uncomfortable chairs and departures. After a quick 12-hour flight, we were in California and at our first house in Encinitas, about 35 minutes north of downtown San Diego. Was it better than the pictures? Oh yes. A huge fire pit, massive kitchen, big garden, double shower, chill out room, tiki bar, zip line, and the best part, an outdoor hot tub. We set our expectations low because we'd never tried this before and we hadn't heard loads about it. But then we got here, it was just too good to be true. It was, it was like, I don't know, someone played a trick on us almost or something like this place was so amazing. I like the hot tub and the play structure and the toys. My favourite bit of the house is the zip line. Does it feel like you see your house? Yeah. The downstairs was more like a boutique hotel lobby. The only bad part about this was that we were nervous of what the kids might break and couldn't leave them alone for a second. The Palmer family were using the points we gave them to travel to Canada. It really does become a win-win situation for all of those involved in the swaps. After a week of fun, we were ready to move into the next house, in the posh upmarket coastal town of La Jolla, famous for its supercars, seals and sunsets. And this house was just as impressive. A sofa area to enjoy your morning coffee, a play area for the kids, and an outdoor kitchen and bar to entertain the adults. We met the Ferguson family before they left. They used our points to go skiing in Colorado. You may think that we did well with our swaps. They basically won house swapping on their first go. They stayed in a $10,000 a night resort, which had a bowling alley, private cinema, swimming pools, ski valet, and even a roller coaster. They were really welcoming, even after Dylan whacked their kid in the head with a lightsaber just as we were leaving. They even said we could have family visit. So we turned the barbecue on and had everyone over for Samantha's second birthday party. I would definitely recommend house swapping to pretty much anyone really. 
if we would have spent this, this much time in a hotel room, it would have cost a lot more. We wouldn't have gotten a kitchen. We would have all been cooped up in one, one or two small rooms, whereas this feels like actually our home away from home now, and it's great. It's, we could have never afforded to rent a place like this, or a hotel wouldn't have been nearly as nice, and we've, we've kind of moved in and feel like home now. <laughs> We're ready to do it all over again as soon as we can. Hot tubs and outdoor kitchens are optional, but we won't say no. For in-depth articles and top tips on securing a house swap, visit our blog page lifeofriley.tv and remember to subscribe here on YouTube too because we have more cool videos coming your way.